Almost fell off my chair. Alrighty, people, let's see how this one stacks up today. So, these are ghost pepper chicken wings from Popeyes. Um, before I jump into this, I will say that I've seen, there's been a, and I've talked about this before, there's been like a plethora of fast food restaurants jumping on the spicy game. Nothing but good can come from this. Or any time that spicy food, hot sauce, that this industry can can cross over more into the mainstream it can only be a good thing for the hot sauce, the hot sauce and the spicy industry in general. So I'm super excited um, to see another iteration. You know? Okay. So, ghost pepper wings from Popeyes. Are they any good? We'll find out. It's pretty few and far between when I actually do um, eat a lot of fast food, but. I have had Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich. I think it's a spicy chicken sandwich. I've had their new chicken sandwich. And it's actually, like, fantastically good for it being from a fast food restaurant. Um, that being said, we're going to see if the chicken wings stack up. So, I don't know much about this. This is as much as I know. And this is from, this is from Thrillist. Um, so, I'm assuming that they got their information directly from Popeye's, but I'm having a hard time finding actually Popeye's information. Anyways, the chicken wings are first marinated in an exotic blend of peppers. One of which is the Buchilokia, or the ghost pepper, which clocks in at, um, I'm going to say, just over a million Scoville. They say for reference, a jalapeno is around 10,000. It's not around 10,000. It's a lot lower than that. Uh, for 12 hours, and then go to the typical Popeye's crispy chicken treatment, being battered, breaded, and then deep fried. So all of the heat is going to be coming from a ma being marinated in an exotic blend of peppers, which I'm saying is just they added some sort of spice blend to the the dredge, or whatever the dredge they're gonna be using for these chicken wings. So, uh, I got an order of six. I got the combo. This is what it looks like when it arrives. You get a little biscuit. You get a biscuit. And you get the wings, and then you get some french fries that you get to pick. You get gone, you get gone uh, rice, I believe, but I want fries because, because of fries. And then, uh, you're able to pick some sauces. I went with what I thought would be the hottest ones I have. So they're, they're Bayou Buffalo sauce and also their Sweet Heat sauce. They don't really have a sauce that kind of goes with it. Um, but maybe you can, uh, so McDonald's also has their Spicy Nugs that just came out, which I did a video on about a week and a half ago. And the chicken wings were fine, or the, the, the McNuggets were, they were just basically normal McNuggets. And if you like, to, if you like McDonald's nuggets, they, were, they are what they were. But the sauce, the sauce was actually pretty good. It actually brought a respectable amount of heat for it being, you know, a, Mc, a product from, you know, a super commercialized restaurant like McDonald's. Anyways, so uh, we're gonna try the wings by themselves. See if they stack up ghost pepper wings. If they're hot, this could be amazing. If they're not, whatever. And then I might give it a whirl with the, the two sauces to see how they stack up if they can, hit, they can, uh, they can help it out. So, all right, uh, getting the wing out is what it looks like. It's interesting, like, no chicken wing looks like this on the planet. <laughs> it's like super crispy, super dredged in whatever they've got going on. Uh, there's little, like, red flecks of spiciness, I guess, kind of happening. Like, you can see it, like, on this flat right here. See that right there? That little thing right there? That might be a little bit of, a little bit of heat? I don't know. Okay, so let's see where we land. Cheers. Okay, after one wing, I mean, it's a deep fried chicken, it's a deep fried dredged chicken wing. So, um, it's juicy, it's kind of oily, um, but juicy, super, super crispy. Flavor is pretty decent for a chicken wing, you know? It's got, it's very, very bright and very crispy. So if you like crispy chicken wings, like this is the deal. It's like literally 50% like crispiness and 50% actual chicken meat. Um, as far as heat goes, I'm gonna say, honestly, it's nowhere near the heat of a ghost pepper, clearly. Um, which I wasn't expecting it to be. Um, there is like the smallest amount of detectable heat. Like for me, this is what I would expect if you were to say like, these are hot chicken wings or, or spicy wings from Popeyes, you know? Like, this is the level of heat we're talking about. Like, if you're looking for, like, real deal ghost pepper heat, and this is not what you're gonna be receiving, you're, but you're, I mean, but, like, I am detecting a level of spice. Um, I would say that this is um, right there below, like, a one on my heat scale. Um, 
I would say that something like like Frank's Red or your traditional Tabasco are are even hotter than these chicken wings. So, but you know, flavor on point. You know, from a from a from a commercial from a fast from a fast food joint. You know, juicy. They're warm. They, they I got them. They're hot. They're juicy. They're cooked well. They're not overdone. From that, no qualms. Let's try it with the buffalo sauce. Uh, let's see if there's anything going on here. So the number one ingredient is hot sauce, which is aged cayenne, red peppers, distilled vinegar, blah 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 blah. So it's going to be like a uh, Louisiana style. Yeah, clearly. Oh, here I got two of them. I got to shake this thing up. All right. All right. Let's see if I can get this as coated as possible. All right. Let's see where this lands. Okay. Um, the sauce is pretty decent. So it's gonna be like a um, like a version of of their kind of like Frank's. So it's got like a slight like creaminess quality to it. Uh, it's got the super vinegary, clearly being a like aged cayenne, Louisiana style. I mean, it's exactly what you're expecting, honestly. It's got a slight bit of it's got a slight bit of heat to it. I'm personally still sitting at that like a one to lower than a one on my heat scale. But then again, I can detect just a tad. It's like it's the flavor of heat. Um still flavor-wise, I've got no complaints. Moving on, we got Popeye sweet heat sauce. So this is gonna be like, I think they're gonna get a barbecue sauce. That's what I'm guessing. Butter, corn, hun water, honey, sugar. Honey and then sugar, okay. Red pepper and then corn syrup and then high fructose corn syrup. Okay, this is going to be the sweetest thing you've ever had sweet, ever sweet before sweet. Let's see what happens here, people. Overwhelmingly sweet, in my opinion. Um, extremely sugary, um, sticky. But you know, if that's the kind of thing you want, then this is then you're gonna love this. Um, I'm looking at the ingredients. I'm not seeing anything in here that's going to be bringing any heat. Or it says it says at one point it says contains less than two percent of spice. I don't know what the spice is, but that's the that's the closest thing to heat we're gonna be getting in here. So okay. So, all right, they're crispy, they're cooked well. Um, if you like an ultra crispy chicken wing with just the, the smallest little bit of heat, I mean, this could be for you, you know? I would definitely pick this over like their traditional wings, you know, if I were to get them again. Their buffalo sauce, I definitely say does help it a little bit. Um, I'm a big fan of this stuff, like Louisiana style hot sauces, vinegar forward sauces, I like those kind of sauces. And this is a, a fair representation of that style of sauce, you know? Um, the sweet heat sauce, um, uh, extremely sweet, very, very high in the sugar content. Um, if you're a person who likes a lot of, like, a lot of sweetness with their chicken wings and want that glaze going on, then this is gonna be for you. So, that's my my ghost pepper chicken wing experience from, from, uh, from Popeyes. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what I was expecting to get out of this, but I would say that I was hoping for a little bit more heat. Um, when I did the McDonald's uh, spicy McNuggets that they have, I was actually like, uh, I was very, I was, I was, I was very appreciative of, uh, of the amount of heat they actually brought with that new sauce, their hot and mighty sauce. And Popeyes, I wish they would have, you know, kind of brought it just a, just a little bit more. So it is what it is. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.